So let's say um, you've got the worst possible thing to factorise. You've got something that looks like this. 16x squared minus 8x minus 3. Um, I mean, the fact that it's 16, you've got this large number in front of the x squared, is going to cause problems. Um, there are, if you're trying to do it in your head, there might be a few different ways of making the 16, which there are, there's 1 and 16, there's 2 and 8, there's 4 and 4, okay? So we're not quite sure how, what's going to be going in the front of each bracket. You could potentially use the method that I've shown um, in a previous video, okay? Um, where you multiply the 16 by the minus 3, then you look at two numbers that would um, multiply together to make, uh, well, it would be um, 48. Um, so two numbers that multiply together to make minus 48, but add together to make minus 8, okay? And you'd be trying to do that. Um, and you, you could potentially do it that way. Now, what I'm going to show in this video is if you've forgotten that method, um, but you have remembered how to, to use the quadratic formula, which uh, I'll be looking at again in another video, but if you remember how to do the quadratic formula, then you do have another way in which you can factorise, okay? But you do need to be careful. The quadratic formula, what that will do is it will solve this expression um, equals zero. Okay, so we'll actually turn it into an equation for you, and you are working out the values of x that will make it zero. So in doing that, use the quadratic formula. Remember the quadratic formula is uh, minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, where in this case we have a is 16, b is minus 8 and c is minus 3. So we have minus b, so minus minus 8 is 8, plus or minus b squared, which would be 64, minus 4 lots of a times c, so 4 lots of 16 is 64, multiplied by minus 3 will make minus 192, so take away minus 192 will make plus 192, square rooting that, all over 2 lots of a is 32, okay? Then um, you would have 8 plus or minus, well, 64 plus 192 is, um, well, what's that? Uh, 256. The square root of 256 is 16. So you have this being 8 plus 16 is 24, so you've got 24 over 32. Or a take away 16 over 32 is minus 8 over 32. Those two fractions can be simplified down. So you've actually got x equals, um, well, both top and bottom group divided by 8, so that's 3 quarters. Or x is equal to uh, 1 over 4, minus 1 over 4, sorry. Okay. Now, one thing that you mustn't do at this stage is to go, oh, well, then factorised, we would have x minus 3 quarters and x plus 1 quarter, okay? This is wrong, okay? It's wrong because x times x will make x squared, which isn't 16x squared, okay? Something has gone wrong. What you need to do at this stage would be to multiply through and to rearrange it. So you get 4x is 3 and then take 3 from both sides, so 4x minus 3 is 0. And on this side, we can get 4x is minus 1, so 4x plus 1 is 0. So in actual fact, this expression here, factorised, would be 4x minus 3, 4x plus 1. Okay? And really, this is a method that I would um, use if 
you are really uh, struggling as to being able to factorise an expression. Okay? It can work. You must do this stage, rearrange it so you get zero on one side of the equation and you get it into a nice terms so that you can write it like that. Because now 4x times 4x makes the 16x squared. 4x times 1 and minus 3 times 4x combine to make minus 8x. And minus 3 times 1 is the minus 3. Okay? So use this as a very last resort.